inmate at Travis County Correctional Complex. This call is subject to recording and monitoring, and your location information may be collected and used by corrections and law enforcement personnel. To accept this free call, press 1. Get up, locked up, catch your shit, get shocked up. Jammed up with the guard, catch your wreck out in the yard, cause we jammed up. Locked up, catch your shit, get shocked up. Jammed up with the guard, catch your wreck out in the yard, cause we jammed up. Order, order, order! Wreck out, wreck out, wreck out! Yo, you are now tuning into the frequencies of Jam Dub Journals. And I'm your motherfucking host, Big Prof, Whoa. the Podfather, Whoa. Mr. Hoffa, Mansa Hoffa, Mustafa Hoffa, no. the king of the jungle. And I'm here with my co-defendant, Rock the Black. What else? Hey, hey, the Black Viking. Because I eat thunder and I crack lightning. And you know, we here to, to put you on about what's going on with this. You know, we are finally some ex-cons who have been rehabilitated. Reinvigorated. Reassimilated. And relocated mm. back into the free world. No doubt. Do you want three? Fuck the free world. Fuck man, man, this nigga is institutionalized. Fuck the free world. Nigga, plug it. Hey, yo. Got it. Hey, yo. You know, this is, this is, we about to embark on the journey, right? You know what I mean? And we doing this. For the, for the inspiration for people that been locked up, come home and deal with settling for minimum wage, settle for selling drugs, or keep on the life of crime. Man, you know just, what I'm saying? Just trying to get your shit right. You know and what I mean? ain't mad at niggas for doing what they do. You know what I'm saying? I get it. You know what I mean? There's a better way. That's what I'm saying. And we're trying to find that way. Yeah, so, so come on a journey with us. Yeah. And we're going to find it together. Message. So, who I want to talk about that really just embodies everything that we're saying, bro is this brother by the name of Dapper Dan. OG. OG. Now, if you know about Dapper Dan, he's a fashion icon. He's worked with so many people, like you see right here. We got, who you got there? You got Slick Rick and Frenchy. Fresh Montana. You know what I'm saying? Dressing everybody up. You see him working with French again. He did the classic, classic full, shit though. with paid in full, bro. Like, there's nothing like this he designed outfit those right outfits, here. right? And he put the number seven for the guards. And you see, you remember this one? Man, they, they, yo, Dapper Dan was lacing everybody. That's bro, the, that's that's the pop percentage that I'm yeah, talking about. Seen him. And that's Dapper Dan right there, a little young Dan. You know what I'm saying? Boom. And we got, look, even got 21 Savage. 21 Savage. He, 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 was, he, he was putting Gucci on shit before Gucci and yo, all that shit. Before they even had that mind They would never even had that swag without that nah, man. Nah, you see him with LL Cool J. You see him with, you know what I mean? What we got, Bobby Brown. That nigga. Jam Master J. Look at Jam Master. The Fat Boys. That's a lot of work. We got Dapper Dan on Khaled. Puffy. You know what I'm saying? I know they call him love now. Mm. <laughs> Kim, the baby. I don't know who this one is, but that jacket is hard though. That shit is that shit hard. That shit is hard. Look, look at that shit, man. That nigga damn boy. And you know, he's uh, uh, the first person to bring a designer brand to Harlem, like Gucci. Now you got Dapper Dan by Gucci in Harlem. You know that Dapper Dan had Dapper Dan's boutique in Harlem. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And he used to get people putting orders in, you know what I mean? So Mike Tyson put the order to get Don't Believe the Hype, you know what I mean? Yeah. As you see right here. And um, I heard, as Story Legend says it, is that uh, Mitch Green was on the block. You know, he from Harlem. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And I they heard just the story. fought, yeah. right? So they nah, were, they ain't fight yet. Yeah, they had fought before. Did they fight? That was their second one. That's why nah. he was beefing with them, because they already got into a fight, yeah. Ah, I, heard, yeah I, I, heard, I heard he was talking, he went over there to see to see Mike or whatever, whatever. Mike Black in his eye, put some Yo, cantaloupe on him. Yeah, he gave him the raccoons. But none, nonetheless, uh, Mitch Green went over there just to fuck with Tyson on some, you know. Bad you know, idea. Bad idea, bro. <laughs> Baddest man on earth. On a planet. So, he motherfucking pulls up. Taunting this nigga, and you know Mike just put, you know what I mean? Put the he paws up, on. Yeah, he put the paws on. <laughs> you know what I mean? So when when that happened, the next day all the publications, all the news stations, they going up to Harlem. They like Mike Tyson beat somebody up. They like what happened? Hell yeah. They find out it was uh, at Dan's boutique. He's selling all this Gucci, all this Louis. Now Gucci coming in, Louis coming in. Now they beasting on him. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So you know he lost everything. So he kind of came. He was he was already up, and he put him on. He put him on. His spot kind of got blown yeah, his for the whole situation. Hot. His spot got hot. That's what you happens. Know what you know what I'm saying? You know yeah. when a black man get money, 
But Sex start acting funny. But what's, what's dope is, is that after all these years later that Gucci shut him down, back in, uh, in the, like around the, after the 2000s, you know, 2003, motherfucking Gucci went to him and you're like, yo, we need you a part of our team now. Yeah, copy the style. So now, the, yeah, they had, they, they was like, yo. He was, he, the, he was the blueprint to their own shit. To their own shit. So now, you know, he got Dapper Dan's boutique um, by Gucci in Harlem. You know oh, what I'm saying? Shit. And um, as you see right here, you know, I've been fucking with Dan for a while. He did the cover to my first, uh, I mean, he, he dressed me for the first shit. Yeah, yeah. And what's funny is, shout out to Duke the God, you know what I'm saying? Duke the God was rocking me back then, you know what I mean? Yeah, I got some stories. Yo, y'all see the face my Yo, brother. Yo, you see the face right there, right? Yeah, man. That's that was like, a good photo yeah, shoot. That was what, a good photo shoot. That's where you want to be. Word. But, um, yeah, man, Dan is just a, such a fucking legend, bro. And what's crazy, because when they shut him down, he had to, you know, hustle his shit. He had a hustle, he ain't give up, right? Mm. So, nigga, even when I was wearing this Louis Vuitton, I remember one time I was wearing a Louis and I was walking through New York and somebody jumped out on me and was like, yo, that's that's my hoodie. I'm like, don't nigga, this is my hoodie. What the fuck is he talking about? He was like, nah, I'm oh, Dapper shit. Dan. Oh, she popped out on me. He popped like out that? on me, nigga popped out on the side, the, the minivan sliding doors. Like he was about to run up on you. Yeah, and he's like, yo, that's my <laughs> shit. So I'm like, nigga, what the fuck you mean it's your shit, nigga? It's my <laughs> shit. So he's like, no, I'm Dapper Dan. I said, oh, oh shit, damn, yo, bro, you know what I mean? Boom. And, you know, he got me. I bought some more Gucci off yeah. there. But, Hell you know, yeah. the shit I was getting back then was, you know, just at a ridiculous price, ridiculous price you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Yeah, Shout out to song. Dapper Dan. As a matter of fact, we got a little drop from him, too. Shout out to Jam Dub Journal, man. And to my man, Hoffman. Listen, this is so important, man. My life is all about starting all over. I had to start all over so many times, man. Going to penitentiary in foreign countries at that, man. And it ain't never too late, man. I had to start all over in my 20s, start all over in my 30s and 40s, man. Don't never give up, man. You know? Stay and pay attention, man. Jammed up journals. My man Hopper, he gonna get it on for you, man. You heard it right there from himself, man. The Dapper OG, Dan. That, that man has just had such a long experience in this culture man, that uh, he, he defines the, you know, the way of rags to riches. You know what I'm saying? He defined that from being someone that didn't, that got sued from Gucci to now being one of the main designers for Gucci. Man, damn near invented fly, you know what I'm saying? Bro. Man, man damn near invented Crazy. Fly. But also brings me to the point where I'm at today, though. You know, uh... The, the moral of the show is, you know, people that are doing things to inspire their lives to do something different, you know what I mean? Yeah, to, to change from their past, rags to riches. And I got a perfect guest for rags to riches, my nigga. Okay. We got Jay Got Littles. Come on, boy. Come on, through, baby. What? My man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What's going on, baby? It's, uh, out, man. yeah, man. Out, man. How you doing? Building, looking good, looking good, my man, my man. Let them know who you are, you know, rep your hood. Like, you know, where, where you from? I'm from the whole Hudson County, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, Hudson County, New Jersey, Jersey, in the building. Uh, a town out here that I can't claim, you know what I'm saying? No doubt. I've been around, I've been around a minute. Um, Jake Dot Little, so I rap a little bit, with the camera. Okay. You know, one of the uh, one of the founders of a '90s hip hop junkie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. '90s hip hop junkie. Y'all see it though. Y'all see it. This is a, a whole movement. This is not like just a a thing. This is a whole movement that the culture, like not just by independent fans, right, the right. culture has really just right. took to well, '90s hip hop. The, the '90s is a golden era, baby. Man, you know, well, it's all spitters. You know what I mean? It was it was it was created for the culture. No doubt. You know so, you know. And, and they picked up. And they, they reciprocated it perfectly. Yeah, they embraced it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, who's not a 90s hip hop junkie? Bro, no, I know I am. I have so many different. You know, we was. I know. Were you rapping in the 90s? Hell yeah. You was rapping in the 90s? Hell yeah. Do you remember your first rhyme? Nah, I don't remember. Nah. I remember how I started writing my first rhyme. How's that? Oh. So it started in fourth grade. And my whole, my whole, my whole thing was writing little love letters to Shorty. Mm. That was my game. Like, oh, you was a, you, know, you was a poet was, and you know it. <laughs> hey, baby. Well, now I can just run Roses are red, red, violets are blue. Oh, <laughs> I started just like that. Word, right? I put my twist to it. That was the, you know, like, you, I know you're a lyricist, so like, you know, it, it'll start with those first couple lines, and mm. then they just open the floodgates. Yeah, yeah, exactly, oh, exactly. Those are red, violets, blue. blue. Mm. Those are my floodgates right there. Mm. Hey, yeah. you know what I mean? And then I give you one better, right? When when the pop really started evolving, and I started really like becoming becoming a, a purist of it, and just really being like all the way in love with it, mm. and started writing. I heard pun. 
You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's a good question because, you know, this show jammed up, man. It's, 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 it's really to know the mind frame of somebody who moves through a certain way. And um, I know you being somebody that can relate to just the hip-hop culture, right. for me, you, you know. You see yourself, you know. No man, doubt. the streets, right. growing up in, in the a, that we grew up in. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. We, all, we all have the same love. Hudson no County. Black, right. Spanish, we all, got this, we all share the same love for this rap mm -hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. So, I know you started rapping at a young age, right? Correct, correct. How old were you when you started rapping and did you have dreams of becoming an FC and making that? Good I, question. I started really rapping at like, um, I, I was in seventh grade. You know what I'm saying? That's when my name started, like, you know, yeah. bringing a little bit of bells, you know what I'm saying? Making a little bit of noise around the community. Yeah, because I heard a lot of people yeah. saying, like, yo, if, if you're not rhyming with him and these ciphers at that moment, well, you know, I'm, then you wasn't doing nothing. I'm going to do like, one better and I'm going to keep it a thousand, uh -huh. right? So, in my, I'm, I'm from Jersey City, and then when I left, that's when I first started with the poetry and, and playing with the bars, right? But I went from Jersey City to, to the border of North Bergen and Union City on 7th Street, mm -hmm. right? Well, so, Kennedy? Downtown, yeah, right. So, um, so in those days, there was a park called Test Street Park. You know what I'm saying? And they had this. He from, from downtown too. They yeah. had this trail, and everybody just be in this little cut, just smoking Turned weed up. and drinking uh -huh. fucking mad dogs and Cisco yeah, 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 yeah. and, and forty. Where North Bergen? Right? And North Bergen. That border. The, the little bitty court. It's be little bitty court. It was a little court at the bottom. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Told you, you downtown nigga. Right. Yeah, I remember that shit. So, so we used to be over there. Is where I drank my first forties and all that shit, right? So, but we would always get into the into the ciphers, and we would rap. Mm -hmm. Have my man with the beatbox. No doubt. This is the top days. You know what I'm saying? So. Pinterest, but over but that's so so it was it was so when I came from Jersey City, some of the cats from down there they tested me. You know, they really, really tested me, right? And obviously, you know, I you know how to you know I had to, to get busy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day we all became brothers, right? No doubt. And that's how it starts. It's the kind of friendly competition. So so it was those same brothers that will always push me to rap. They like, yo, you nice spit. And they start doing a beat. But, you know, after they gave me the confidence, confidence, there was one time I went to Seaside Heights with my family. Mm -hmm. And it was my mother, you know, just like my immediate family. Yeah, yeah. And of my homies, none of my goonies with me. And, and, and it I was rapping the, out there. I go to the boardwalk. I go to the boardwalk. <laughs> and your family's like... No, no, I'm by myself. Like, <laughs> oh. I had a different though. <laughs> rapero. My family's very different. They're very, like, church going. Okay. I'm like the black sheep. No yeah. doubt. Yeah. So I spun, I spun off for so them. Much. I'm a little knucklehead. I'm young at the time. I think I was maybe like 12 years old. I was real young. But I spin off and I go to the boardwalk and I see this big crowd and it's this big cypher and, oh, and cats man. are battling. Mm. And who do I see? Who's that? Prov. A word? Oh, word? Oh, Justice League. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here. A <laughs> word the mother? Hey, yo, remember that. Oh. So, shit, you fuck my so, head up with that. that. So, Word. And everything I love, it was, uh, Kabu was, he was, he was battling. Uh -huh. Yeah. And he was killing. Hey, yo, look. Yo, cut, look. Slap me that thing right there. Slap, slap me that right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slap Kabu. Ah, there you go. He talking about the, the big homie, so. This was the group that he's talking about. Justice League. Right. Had to right. shout him out. Had to pull, you know, the, the old school flyer because right. that was oh. my crew. So, Peepaw, the energy like, wow. just travels, right? So, I'm, I'm a baby. I'm watching them and I'm like, I'm getting inspired. I'm like, yo, these cats That's are crazy. Ill. I start That's hearing it. about them because, you that. know, um, a couple of other homies from my area. So, the Justice League was dope because it was a collective of, of Word. like, the mm -hmm. best talent from, from the whole county, right? No so, doubt. did you spit that day or not? How? I, I didn't even know how to. Like, Word. you know, Oh, I had That's a little crazy, Mickey Mouse ride, you know, but I just I watched it and it inspired me, and you know I went I went full force. So you coming from downtown U S City? You moved from J C yeah. to downtown U S City. What street you was representing up there? Seventh Street. Seventh Street okay. all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. What kind of what was life like as a youngin out there with you and your homies back in the day? So mm. life was life was great. I mean, shit, I had no problems. I had no no nothing to worry about. But I mean, it was it was a lot different than it is now. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. Like cats was in uh, we was not home playing video games and stuff oh, on the computers. Nah. We was really on the corners. Yo, hey, hey, you know Jumping fences and shit. You know what? what? What you remind me of is something that I w when I was really doing my research on you, I was so proud of you for incorporating this with your brand as who you are right, right, right. you always had the yellow radio yeah so so i could so, i could see you as a young and you know walking around being one of them niggas yeah. you know what i mean with 
Yellow radio probably some weed stash in your nuts. Life you know what I'm saying? Life was like that shit was also used as a weapon too. Don't forget. Yo, that for shit, real, you know for real, for real. Niggas done got some. I remember batteries. Kali Red Hot used to. Ah, he hit somebody. Got some so, batteries so, inside the head. So, so that's a, that's another one that he was very like me, and we always used to see each other. Who's that? Kali. Kali Red Hot. Shout out to Red Hot. What's yeah. up, yeah. nigga? So he's from another. He's from the project. So yeah. So yeah. I like you know what's crazy with me like all my all my homies had beef with every other for 3-9 to yeah. Central that's how 26 that's how that's most, yeah all the blocks I'll fuck with them that's niggas bullshit. this nigga ain't leave the block for a year no. he was like I'm fighting every time I'm beating niggas up I never had he was like nigga I'm on the block I had hella love in 3-9 I love them they love me no back. doubt no doubt same with, with the with the with the two six brothers mm -hmm. you know not knowing Central got no doubt you know God bless yeah, yeah um, like I just never really had problems. I think the most problems I had might have been with uh with, with my homies from West. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, but that's right there though. They, they became my brothers. Just no that, doubt, that's no just doubt. how this shit is. That's crazy, right? Yeah. How you grow up with people, but you still beef with them throughout the years, but then you come back around and brothers <laughs> yeah. around. You can't help it. They right you know next saying? to you all the time. Yeah. That's just what's wrong with brothers fight, man. Brothers yeah. fight. Word, that's, word. that's a fact. So fight. Well, um. Cause I have, I know, I have a little bit of information that was, you know, I remember one of your first rap groups, L.O.N. Right. Okay. Was it yeah. Legion of Nations? League of Nations. League of Nations. Okay. League, League of Nations. Nations. Yeah. So you had Bobby a part of it, Bobby man. Swift. Yeah, my man. And then who was the other? My Reggie, my, young, Reggie, young Reg, man. Yeah. He, that and kid. um, I so I remember that era from you. Okay. You know what I mean? And um. You had an album yeah. called Glo Global Warming. Global Warming. Yeah, so was that like your first rap group that you had? Did, was that, that the first one you took serious? Yeah, like, that was Tell my, us about that. That was my first serious um, group, you know what I'm saying? But um, it was like my second most serious project. The first time I really got introduced was with, with Chronic. Who, uh, uh, Chronic uh, Javier? Chronic, man, from... Uh, you do the Ron G call, uh, nah, call the cops nah, shit? Nah, nah, nah. Chronic, he just had a collective of dope artists coming through his his. his, his studio where, you know where was that at his studio was right by the on 30 Sun street like 31st oh, okay. street you know but uh but, the, okay. but yeah but so oh, Berkeley, the little the, um, it was like record store you know that little, uh, like no you talking about on pastor music that was my man George. oh you talking about the joint across the street from where um it was, it was, it was coming down it was coming down the hill from mcdonald's, from McDonald's. so yeah, he, yeah, he yeah. was blessed you know he was fortunate you know he had he had some financial you know support and and yo he was the first one with the eight track recorders bro he had mm. a nice mic like yeah, he had yeah. he had the gear Word, you know what I'm word, saying? Word, Nowadays, word. you need an air box. You yeah. can, you could probably even you don't even you can record on your phone. Man, you used yeah. to record my music nah, in the living nah, room. Nah, nah. Yo, <laughs> we, we come, did this shit everywhere. We everywhere. It was a walking studio. Nah, if you like back then, like when I was trying to rap, like you either had to have bread or you had to have the real gear. Yeah. And, you know, I'm talking about just pre Pro Tools. We talking. No, I know, I know. Yo, I started off. I started off with the with the four track. It was a tape. Right, Regular cassette right. tape and it had four tracks, two for the beat and right, right. a main and an ad lib. Yeah. And that shit started and then what's crazy is man, I ain't gonna say where it task was, but the task then, yeah, then the task came came task and then came I fucking out. had got my hands yeah. on that microphone. So I don't And that's when we went off. Right. I don't wanna sound crazy uh -huh. or bitter or nothing, cause it's not uh -oh. like that, but, uh -oh. but, but hip hop kinda got me jammed up. <laughs> yo, you know, <laughs> And, and that's why, that's why we like. That's why I knew I was like, yo, if you're the same type of person that grew up in these kind of streets on some elements, right. I know that just being out there smoking yeah. weed, rapping, you yeah. get targeted by a lot of that, things. That shit so and you all get pop jammed, jammed up. Jammed up. All right. So once I started getting my little name out and I started getting some love in the streets and I'm like, I really want to go hard with this because like, you know, I figured, you know, I got a shot. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm nice. So. um I started looking for a home. Out. I started looking for a home. So there was a couple brothers from downtown, a couple brothers from Midtown, you know. Oh, my man Chronic had the little spot, but, you know, it... it at the end of the day, everything's based on relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you know, I didn't have the tightest relationships with the guys who could pr could provide those opportunities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no I'm getting feeling. I'm getting shut down. I'm like, what's up? I need a no home. Feeling. I want to be part yeah, of. Yo, like, I, I, I'm part of a gang or not. Like, I want to be part of a movement. Like, no doubt, me, no let doubt. Me rap, let me put in my work. Let me up? have a team of support. And, and people was just like, nobody really gave me the green light and the full door opportunity. Yeah, so yeah, I said, yeah. where? I'm gonna go uptown. I'm gonna go get five for twenty. Uh -huh. I'm gonna come back to the hood. I'm gonna flip the hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One forty seconds here, off Broadway. Yo, legend, legend out there. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, yeah. yeah. She a legend, man. She a legend. She a legend. Oh, she a legend. Couple bags in Riverside, off. Oh, 
Word. Burn for like two hours to go home so, with this. You know what I mean? I, I, start I used getting, to burn in the train in the middle. Yo. I started getting my chips up. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And then, I, you know, I'm like, I'm going to get my little mic. Is this where the next thing, Grind City, comes in? So, no, nah, Grind City. Because, you know, what's crazy, I was a part of the Grind City movement right, right, all right. through the beginning. Right, right. And then when it got serious and expanded, and that's when. Um, so, so Grind City is a little deeper. Um, I was already pretty, like, like by by this time when when we fast forward to Ground City, I already put in hell hella work, mm-hmm. had multiple okay. studios, all right, all right, was all right. part of one or two movements that did. Uh, and that's where the LON started, so right? LON, During those movements yeah, before so the Ground LON, City. LON was when like I really got embraced. They were like the shout out to my man David, you know my man D Block. He, he, he was the first one to like really embrace me. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? And he was like, "Yo, well, shout you know, out, we, shout out to David, bro. Word, word, Yo, because the nigga, you know what I mean, started a movement because because he was he had some bread too, and they had a really beautiful studio. Shout out mm-hmm. to Chino. Chino actually, he's this OG salsa dude, okay. and he had this amazing studio he, he built in a garage, but it was top notch. And he he would rent it to to the young cats, which was uh-huh. my man D. So D was putting up. The bread. I went in there straight. Like, what's up? Like, do you I'm, remember I'm, how much? You, home. Do you remember how much your first sessions were? Oh man, it was probably like, I think it was like fifty dollars an hour. But oh man, that's that's pricey. Back but back, too. this is back in two thousand. That's what I'm saying. It's pricey. Two thousand ninety nine, two thousand one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pricey. I, fifty dollars. A discount at that time. Nah. Damn near free. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying, but, but I paid that shit. I I, I paid Kaker for a session. Word, so word, Kaker. Shout out the photo, I, man. Photo. Bro. <laughs> that nigga in Miami. You know, Miami I saw, ass nigga. You know, what up? Wow. What, 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 so so um, the spun thing it lasted a little minute. <laughs> But I wasn't, I wasn't getting the production I wanted, and I don't mean beats or nothing. I'm mm-hmm. at, like, I want to be in that. I need that studio time. I, no doubt. I need to be in that. Booth. Yeah, yeah. Be creative. Get, get your vocals and out. It was a couple guys. It was three of us, and I, I felt like, like Bobby and my man Reg was getting more, more of the playing time. More time. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know what? I right. he keeping it funky though. Yeah, keeping it funky. I can't nobody <laughs> phone me. You know what I'm saying? So like. No, but they the Bobby know Reg. Yeah. They know I love them. Yeah, and, they, and guess what? I, I'm not scared to say it. They was more advanced than me. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's probably what pushed you to be like, yo, right. I can't be on the back end of this shit. Like, let me push harder because you had. I don't know if it was a, a, a immediate growth right, from one right, moment right. to the next. If he wasn't up to date with you daily right. or weekly, because for me, my impression is like I remember you started off rapping, yeah. didn't really know much of you, right, right. and the Pop next was, thing I know, like you pushing out shit. a lot of product, and yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. damn, this Pop nigga like just went real shit. quick. You knew who was nice, right. and you like, you know what? When we get a cipher, he ain't gonna crush me. Homie, <laughs> right. get your bar, word, you word, get your style that's up, you and you burn niggas. Nah, that's that's a hey yo, but um, you. You know, you said something about like, you know, hip hop kind of got you in trouble, you know what I'm saying? Or at least living like what you thought was. You know, what was some of your first interactions of being jammed up, you know, like police activity, you know, being in little county time, like, talk about that. What was your first, you know, introduction? So my first, first introduction was, uh, I got jammed up when I was in high school, just selling bud. Okay. But I ended up, I ended up in the youth house. Okay. Did you for yeah. what? I ended up in the youth house. You for what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I ended up in the youth house. I had, I had cold bad bags though. And then like, okay, so you couldn't fake it like it was personal so, smoke. Nah, some of my mans had, I think they had some cookies on them, some curls and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, they was really hopping out back then. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, where they, where, where they ran down at? Street, right there. They just so that's Union out, City. Chases down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The Denny was on fire. How, that's your, how your parents got when, when you went to? My mom left me in it. Yeah. Ain't want come. Get me. She like, oh, you gonna learn your lesson? You gonna learn your lesson? You know what I mean? I mean, she could have came and got me. She let me sit for like a couple days, for like four days or something over oh, the weekend. Yo, back you know what I'm saying? Cops are fucking chopping niggas in the throat. Oh, they oh, they are, yo, I'm yo, a rock chop. You know what I'm saying? Punching you in the See, stomach. I remember I got hit with a flashlight by a cop when I was like 15. So the, the thing was this, right? So on Seventh Street at that time, that was pretty much dominated by Nietas and Latin Kings. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we had Seventh Street, and then you had Sixth Street to Delhi, right? Yeah, yeah. So the Delhi, those cats. They had a lot of beef with Hoboken. So oh, there was in Union City always beef so with Hoboken. There was, there was a lot of sort of oh, yeah. the, the cast from the projects from Hoboken. They would come. They'd be beefing. Hague Street was a, a few blocks down. Mm-hmm. They was getting hella money with the cookie, hey, yeah, with, with yeah. crack. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was just an infestation of, of dope, crack, and coke at that time. You know Speaking what I'm saying? Those big words, bro. Yeah. So they was just they was coming. They you know we was young and they knew you know we was fucking around too. So did, did you get um to the point where you graduated uh, the youth house and go to county? Absolutely. Man. Yeah, what was that like? Like, what were the what were things that that the kind of experiences you had in there? Like, so, what was your pastime? The funny thing was when I got to the county, I was a little nervous. Damn. 
And then um, as soon as I get in there, start seeing everybody. The, it's like like Holden was whatever. Yeah, Holden yeah, yeah, yeah. wasn't about shit, right? Mm -hmm. But then they're like, yo, there's, there's there's some beef going on with the Bloods and these guys, and, and so they like, yo, D3 West is like, where you you don't want to go there right now? That shit crazy right. right now, right? So D3, it was D3 West at that time, and then the Max here, obviously, because you got guys that are really putting in work and that's yeah. that's that's some in, real trouble, right? That's in drug tears. That's, so, that's like the A's. B pod, B pod, B pod is high bill. Yeah. So um, it used to be. So as soon as I walk, I'm, so they like, ah, right, you want a population? So I'm like, ah, right, but so as soon as I walk in, I'm like, damn, I'm ready to scrap or like, I got, I'm young too. I'm and like, this is your first time like, going to county like with the big boys just turn 18 type shit yeah, 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 yeah. and uh, i was just like whatever we gotta put in work we gotta put in uh -huh. work and the first the first thing i hear is yo littles word so i'm like where's somebody <laughs> <laughs> yo i'm right here i'm right here i'm like yeah i'm good what's up though what's up though <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's oh so it's, shit that's so funny God bless his soul damn man this shit is heartbreaking oh man, my man, man my man oh my man ellie man ellie. king ellie man he killed him a couple of years ago right here mm. in c2 word. so so man, rest in peace to him yeah he's rest in good, peace so he, he took care of me man he embraced me and the funny thing was then so I, I knew a bunch of people in there so then you know my, my man Javi's in there my other man's in there so I was good you know as soon as I walked yeah, in there so, I was good like, so you see now I know for me I know how to answer this for myself but you started seeing people that was good in there at some point did that make you kind of like institutionalized where this shit starts becoming normal what happened was it broke the fear yeah and then it was just like the first time so what? I'll go back I'll yeah. be alright I'll be alright yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, don't nobody want to go back second, third, fourth, fifth yeah, yeah, yeah. time you yeah. already know how to move now cause you, you already you, did this you young you hear all the stories yeah. and you know the TV you paint it the one way and then it's just like yo it's, it's really not that serious so like I mean it is it is not you know what yeah, I mean yeah you know it's definitely Serious. Yeah, it's right. something, it's serious. You know, yeah, yeah. Hove did that, so hopefully you don't gotta go through that. You, you know, know what I mean? So serious. You know when you coming home when you ain't when your bail high as hell, right. you sitting there for a while. Yeah. You got a little yeah. punk ass bail, you right. make it, you yeah. know you're going home. So, so what, what what kind of nigga was you in there? You know, you got you got the I'm, book reader, you got the sports guy, you got the was, game boards, um yeah, you know what else you got? You, oh, you got sex style, nigga. Yeah, I was trying to get big when I go home. Lazy ass word. Word. Yo, yo, so you was rapping, you was writing a lot. Slow, bro. That I was had, slow. That the the being able to rap actually helped me get cool with with all the other hoods. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So they would have me in the room. Well, <laughs> it was networking. Uh, all the Morenos, the Morenos would be like, Yo, Poppy, yo, Chris, make that, yo, Chris, make that shit for my man right here. Yo, so, yo yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, I mean, that's that's dope though because you have that mind frame of like, you know, shit. If this is what we we got, we're gonna make the best out of it. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah. making the best out of things out of that situation. What was the first thing, the first, first thing that you wanted to do when you came home? Well, at least one of the times. I don't know how many times. You know what I mean? What was the first thing? He was like, yo, I can't wait. Yes, to get some buns. Get some buns. <laughs> <laughs> that was my answer. That's what he told me, right? So my answer was like, fuck, I'm probably going to get a Lucy because I'm going to go on my way to get some pussy. But, you know, I'm going to get a cigarette first. I'm going to get some, wind, uh, some Burger King later. You know what I mean? Tell the people what you learned. Mm. About being jammed yeah, up. Man. Yeah. What, what did you take from that shit? All the time you facts, 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 okay? facts. What did you take from that shit? Like the worst part about that shit is just the waste of time. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so I, think, way. I think what I what I learned the most is is just to try to move as smart as possible and not in a criminal manner. It's like technically it's it's making better decisions. So I'll give you like a little a little deeper insight into my situation when I was jammed up. So I got jammed up with a with a bunch of dudes, you know what I'm saying? Saying I went, I went in for a first degree conspiracy, Damn. drug charges, a couple co defendants. Um, oh, geez. Everything was bad from the minute motherfuckers got jammed up from the statements and, 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 and you know, like it was just a bad. The stories wasn't matching. It just looked it, a bad. What you heard? Once I heard co-defendants, I know the story yeah. was fucked it up. It was bad. Like it wasn't a case that could really be beat like that. Yeah, you know co-defendants. Like we ain't not going to take this shit to trial, you know. Nah. So it, did you have a lawyer or you was going yeah, public defender? I had a good lawyer. Oh, all right, that's we good. All actually had a good lawyer. Um, <laughs> It gets a little deeper, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the point is this, um, we all, we the first offer they threw me was 20 with a 15. You know what I'm saying? I ended up, it went, story. So, so check it out. So they go, so all right, this shit gets deep, right? So I'm gonna tell y'all, cause you know, fuck it, the world should know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, the kids, the, the kids, the main thing is that we want people to take what you're saying right so now I'm, and be I'm, like, they don't want to do that. So at this time when, you know, when you saying, you looking at a judge, I'm fucking like, 
I think I was like 19 at the time, mm, 20 years old. The judge is like, you know, we got your first offer is 20 with a 15. I'm, I'm bugging out. I'm bugging out. I'm telling my uh, man, like, yo, what the fuck, dog? So, so he's like, don't worry. We're going we gonna to be all right. So through the grace of God, you know what I'm saying? The first huge break that happens is the prosecutor dies. Damn, that shit is in, in the middle of your case. In the like, it's getting like to, you're in the process yeah, of it. Like we, we, we copping up. Prosecutor passes away. The me, he's trying to fry us too. Oh, I know. What? What? This is Burger County. <laughs> he oh, said trying to fry us. That's not County. That's Burger County. Even worse. Even worse. Trying to fry us. I don't know. So he dies. We get this new prosecutor, and um. The old dude, he looked like he had a shitload of work, and he was even telling my lawyer and the other lawyers like he's trying to cut deals because he's don't want to waste the time. He's over, he's overwhelmed. So all right, so now the twenty with a fifteen is like a, a ten with a fucking eight or some shit, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's the next deal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, some shit like that. Like this. They went halfway. So guess what happens next? The task force that arrested us and had the investigation on us. Bergen County. They get suspended for throwing away uh, evidence. Hallelujah. Oh, so they lock up. They lock up a, 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 a kid who happened to be the son of a cop, and uh, because of that whole shit, they threw away some evidence on him so he could come home clean. Yeah. That shit came back That around. shit hit the fan. That uh -huh. shit hit the fan. They get suspended now. So now they cutting more deals. So motherfuckers won't go to trial and get crazy on them. So you walked away with probation? So I walk away with an alternative drug sentence called drug court. Mm -hmm. Drug court. So they're like, five years. So the five years. Uh, five years. But they Judge like, Venable made that from Hudson County. That was my yeah, judge. Yeah, got a drug yes. program. So she's like, but so they tell me, they're like, yo, you good. It's only going to be six months. You're going to do a six month inpatient mm -hmm. and you Don't gonna, worry about gonna, all you got to, once they say all you got to do is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm like, I know myself. Well, I didn't know myself. Now I do. But I'm like, I'm I ain't gonna smoke weed. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna get a job. So this is what happens, bro. Whatever you do, don't trust. Don't trust jail lawyers, bro. When you go back to the cell, and enter the unit. Right. Don't trust. Don't, don't, trust, don't, trust, don't trust those. Guys. No, not even the public. The, the inmates that be telling you what no, to do. I'm gonna keep it real with There's you. Right the inmates here. gassing you up. Let me, let me, let me, let me give you, let me give you some. The jailhouse now. lawyer. So let me get some jail, some jail knowledge right now. What's that? All right. A lot of people get do shit and be like, yo. I'm taking that shit to trial. If I did it, I'm trying to get the best deal possible. I, mm -hmm. I ain't stupid. Right, right, right. Now, if you go there and they like, yo, 20 with a 10, 25 with a 15, uh -huh. 30 with a something, they got something on Yeah, them, yeah, right? they're going they up. up. Yeah, they, they, you yeah, you, smoke, yeah. Try to nah. play with them. But they was when going the down. Go down. Yeah, you like, I got them. Like, mm. Y'all yeah. yeah, niggas so, ain't serious. What's the best you can give me? And I'll think about it. You right. know what I'm so walking away with a drug with a drug call with those comparisons right. of before, especially being in your early stages of being an offender, because you're like, so I can leave now, time served, and right, then go right, to straight right, to the right. program. All right, let me out right now. Right. You know, and you jump the gun. I jumped, I jumped the gun mad time. So, I was, but but like I said, man, like one thing I learned is 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 make better decisions, man. Like at the end of the day, being in those institutions, those programs, those therapeutic communities, it taught me how to like. For example, if let's say I don't know you from a can of paint, yeah. and, and, and we and we get into some some street shit, could be some rumors, yeah, some yeah, gossip yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But I know how to be. I know how to because of these programs, I can sit you down and be like. Like, yo, and get my point across without disrespecting you. No doubt, no doubt. Holding my temper in. You know, I, that, it just happened to me the other day. You know what I'm saying? You learn from your mistakes and shit. I, I, learned, I learned a lot of communication skills. Yo, when you live with somebody in such a close facility, day in and day out, the mood swings that happen daily, it becomes like, it's real. you know, and then learning how to cope with 32 different people in one tier or whatever amount, 64, like that's a lot of skill that it takes to just be able to Shit. The use that in real life. Mastering self, my nigga. Yeah. The skill of mastering self, knowing, knowing what you can and what you can't do and what you right. gotta do right. to make this shit work. So what was your next move after you got out? You didn't want to sell no drug, you didn't want to do that. What was your next Bro, move to I, your best I, move? I came out, oh, of course. I got um, straight looking for a job. I found a job. I was getting ten dollars an hour. I was, I was I was a janitor, scrubbing toilets at a senior citizen building. Gotta ain't your regular toilets, bro. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I do. You know what I mean? Get that paper. Back man, oh shit. You know, taking out the garbage, the big dumpsters, and I did it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I did it for a minute, and yo, I started like I understood how to like really work that routine every day. Yeah. 
go to work, go to sleep having early. Having a consistent pace. You know, having that check every week. That getting routine, your bills that routine, paid. That routine, that yeah, yeah, routine. Yeah, yeah. Help life, routine, help routine. you get your life straight. You know what I mean? really got me focused. So I got a, I got a fun segment that I want to get into because I know you a 90s hip-hop junkie. Oh, yeah. So I got this little hip-hop trivia. So I ain't want to go too hard on the questions, but let's see because these are some questions I know motherfuckers don't be Yo, I'm going to be the first. I got my questions. I'm going to be the first to say I am not a historian. Like, I am. You're lying. I am. You're lying. You're I lying, this, I bro. I hate trivia Go ahead. Bro, all right. <laughs> what does Black Moon stand for? See, you coming at me with this shit, man. Come on, you don't got it? I you know, know what it stands for. I just, it's not coming to my head right So, uh, Black Moon is... Nigga and Vex, yo, shout out to v Dot. What's up, v Dot? Yo, they like, they like historians, bro. Yo, Black <laughs> Moon stands for Brothers Lyrically Active Combined right, right, right. Kicking Music Out on Nations. Yeah, see, that's, that's... Yeah, that's a hard one. That's a hard one, but I had a, you I know... I knew it was an acronym, though. I All right, yeah. I got this question for you. Who was Curtis Blow's DJ that became... A fucking iconic sensation in hip hop. Curtis Blow had a DJ. That yeah. DJ turned out to be somebody. It wasn't. Uh, it was Jam Master J. Nope. No. Nah, the hell. Close though. And, and um, DMC and DJ Run. Dumb Diddy. Remember, he was yeah, DJ yeah, Run. Yeah, yeah. He was a DJ before he oh, was a rapper. Was run, though. DMC was I Run. Say, yeah, 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 no, you were close. Nah, Listen what he's I'm DMC and DJ Run. Yeah, yeah, dumb Diddy, Dumb Diddy, Diddy, Dumb Dumb. You know what I'm saying? He was a DJ. He considered himself a DJ. I'm getting close. Though. I'm getting close. Come on. Y'all give me that. Huh? No, you was close. You was close. That's why you went Jam Master J. I was like, all right, all right. So now, you better get this one right. And I think I, I think you are. You're gonna don't ask me. Nah, who? KRS. Oh, uh, the acronym. I got that one too, but it's not uh, on these notes. Man. What rapper missed out on being part of the nine in the Wu Tang because he fell asleep? Killer Priest. Killer Priest. <laughs> oh man. All right, I'm not gonna hit you with too many more, but you a Nas fan, right? What does Nas's first four albums have in common? That's not the cover. That's not the cover. It's not First the cover. Four albums that. All right, so I don't know. All right, so the answer is, it's like he fucking made a sentence. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Illmatic. It was I, written. I am not sure. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. I've never no, seen that shit. I, yo, I've did. never I seen that, that shit, bro. bro I've never well. seen that shit. You got a, you got another segment you want to get into before segment, we go? Yeah, real quick, just. Because, nigga, I'm, I'm getting hungry, bro. I'm, I'm hungry. You hungry? call the segment lockdown. We're going to eat a little bit. You, gonna you see how you like to eat. We're going to eat. Lockdown. Lockdown. Just lock lockdown. Down. Just Let's get it. All right? One out of the two. One out of the two. So here we go. CNN or Mob D? Uh, Mob D. Mob D. O.E. or Heineken? Heineken now, D. Heineken. <laughs> Wu-Tang or Tribe Called Quest? Oh, man. Oh, that, that's easy. I'm going to have to go with I mean, Wu. shout out to them. Those catalog is just deeper. Liquor or weed? Oh, uh, liquor. Liquor. Jay-Z or Nas? Nas. Nas is like... Cardi or Nicki? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Nicki's the better rapper. So let's see. All right. Shout out to Cardi. Shout out to Cardi. My nigga. LL or Cannabis? Oh, shit. LL beat him. LL beat him? Second Red round knockout, though? Red man or stretch? Oh, shit. Damn, I hope he don't hit me. I'm gonna go with Tretch. Tretch. PlayStation or Xbox? Oh, PlayStation. iPhone, Android. I got a fucking note. <laughs> <laughs> Nike or Reebok? Nike. Biggie or Tupac? Mm. Shit. It's controversial. Lyrically, Biggie. As a person, as somebody who impacted the culture, Pac. Right lockdown right there. Lockdown, lockdown segment. Right there. Hey, yo, listen, bro. I want to get into some fucking food, man. We about to do some shit that I like called crooking. Crooking is cooks who cook. So we about to whip something up. So we here, brother. This is the part, like I said, this is crooking. So I'm going to make today... Something simple, but something that I notice a lot of people up north don't make too much. Okay. So it's a pizza, right? Okay. This pizza is not your typical pizza, but I'm gonna show you what I got because I just went to commissary too. So, okay, I heard you. Yeah, so I got a few things, man. Shout out to, you know, people showing me love, making sure my books is full. I don't know if you ever had this, bro. This is the hot pickle. This nah, shit. Nah, nah, oh, man. man, this is the truth, brother. Okay. We got the hot pickle. We got the, you know, the legendary. 
the chili. You know what I'm saying? See that? You can't do it without a motherfucker. Flaming hot cheese. You know that, you know that. Do you fuck with those? You fuck with those? All right. You know I gotta add a little bit of cheese. You know what I'm saying? So. The ones that I like using is the motherfucking chili rum. These are my favorite, bro, because it has so much flavor to it, so much seasoning, you know what I'm saying? I'm making my, my pizza dough out of uh, ramen noodles, you know what I'm saying? All right. You're making your pizza dough out of ramen noodles. Yes, yes. Genius. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put it in here. So right here, I got about five soups. The way that I usually break these though, you know what I'm saying? Same old school shit, I smack them on the floor. You ever did that kind of shit? Absolutely. Help me out, bust one down. You gotta throw it flat so that the bag don't pop, you know what I mean? So now I'm gonna go right over here to my hot pot. You know, a lot of counties have this, so it's so it's so quick, the shit heats up super fast. You know what I mean? But I don't drench my soups with a lot of water. So I put just enough where it'll work, but it's not gonna leave it too soupy. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't really want it a soup. I want it to be like a pizza dough. You know what I mean? So just tie this up. The bag is gonna be hot, so you know you gotta be careful. Make sure you shake this shit up right. You know what I mean? So now I start shaping it right here like a little form. I got a little bit more mixing to do. You know, you gotta massage it. You gotta make love yeah, you gotta put it. love you know into it. Yeah, you gotta put love into it. You know, you gotta be gentle with this shit. And just start just slowly massaging it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Few moments later. All right, so I usually just break the bag. You know what I mean? So now I can have a little space on it. Boom, I can see what I'm doing. But can you really throw down? Like, uh, oh, yeah. outside of jail? Hell yeah, hell yeah. That's, what, that's why when I went to jail, I was like, man, I do this shit at home. All right. I'm about to get busy. So now what we're gonna do with this, we just gonna slide around top. All right, so now that I got that there, we're gonna take some of this dusty chili. Yo, this shit gonna be hot. Yeah, yeah, this shit hot, hot, hot. hot. Boom. You got the hot pickle. So, you, you know, we just dress it a little bit on top, right? Make sure we get all sides of it. This shit is interesting. Yeah, man, you gotta make it look good too, you heard? Or this was just fun for me, you know what I'm saying? I used to just love doing this shit when I locked up, I eat good, you know what I mean? And now, we're gonna use this motherfucking cheese, man. All right, so we're about to hit this right here like that. Let's see. Get a little bit. You know what we used to do, though? We used to go to the halal truck. Where? On, on, in New York on 40 sign and mm -hmm. what is that, like 6th Ave, 5th Ave? Well, they all over, so I don't know, you well, know. The official halal guys, right? Uh-huh. So if you know, the best shit about the halal guys is the sauce, right? But they got, they got the white sauce, and they got the mild sauce, and they got, got the barbecue, red sauce. and they got the hot oh. sauce. But that shit, is, that shit is hot, hot. Yo, so that shit is put hot. It, it looks very similar to the barbecue joint. Mm -hmm. so, so you we, can fuck so around and put too much. That was the one. Fat was the one who put me on to this shit. We used to go over there and we used to switch the bottles, right? So motherfuckers would think it's the barbecue sauce and they would, ah, they would OD with they shit. Word. Take a big ass bite of that shit. Start coughing. Yo, they start dying. Choking, so choking. We be in a cut. Black. Oh man, that's fucked up. Y'all niggas some, that's that's some fucked up niggas, that's man. Shit. I would've done the same shit that's with you. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some pickles on top of this shit. You know, a little, little topping. You know what I'm saying? I love these pickles, boy. Oh, this is good, my nigga. So now, it's a real simple one. And then the last thing that I'm gonna do, I wanna introduce you to a very special thing to me. This is called the Oz Sauce. So the Oz Sauce, man, I made this, I was locked up with my nigga Juck. He doing 15 years right now, free my nigga Juck. But um, he gave me the idea for the name. So I was making this sauce, and he was just like, yo, she call it the Oz Sauce. Nigga, there's no place like home. You know you wanna go home. So we came up with this sauce, and it's very delicious. And it is continuing the spice flavor. So, a lot. you know, we're gonna be sweating tonight. That's a whole lot of enchilada yeah. on that shit, boy. Yeah. yeah. We make this shit look good, though, you know what I'm saying? I mean, this shit look colorful. You know what I mean? So this is... This is a This is set up. This is the pizza, brother. This nigga set me up right now. Yo, this is the pizza, man. We about to... Yo, I hope you got your water ready. Yeah, so we about to, you know, cut a little piece up right here. Boom. Mm. Boom, here we go. Cheers. <laughs> I'm about to serve me one real quick. 
hope you're okay. You guys, can yeah. I get some water? Yeah, let me get some water. Let me get a bottle of water for the look. Matter of fact, you got a I'm bottle of water right here. I'm gonna be a little selective. I don't trust that pickle. Yo, here we go. You ready? This is about where that water though. Let's go. You got water right there, brand new one. This shit kind of banging though. Yo, nigga. I ain't gonna front. You can't front, nigga. And this shit got a good cook, though. This shit kicking. But you know, they, you know what they used to tell me? They say you would've got left up north, but you was the chef up north. <laughs> so I came back, I was all right. You know what I'm saying? Nah, this shit all right. This shit smacking, though. Tell me no. It's smacking. This shit smacking. Mm. All right. This shit smacking, my nigga. Nah, this shit certified. Certified? Yeah. I'm good, money? I'm fuck with this shit. Yo. That. That's delicious. <laughs> No bullshit where he was making this shit. I'm like, bro, this shit look crazy. You don't know, but until you taste it, then you're like, damn. Nah, you see me, I'm going in. I'm going in. Bro. bro. I hope you enjoyed it, man. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's get rid of this, but I got another little surprise okay. that I want to bring you into. Hey, yo, see yo. I'm done. So I got another little surprise, man. This is just something that my sister made. She sent to me, you know what I mean, via care package. Okay. And I want you to just be here for the first, you know, while we cut this in half, you know what I'm saying? And also, just let the world know, you know what I mean, before we get into this cake, because we probably going to not put our forks down. Wow. Let the world know what you got going on and how they should be in tune with you. So if you ain't following me, please tap in J.Littles on Instagram. That's J-D-O-T-L-I-T-T-L-E-S. Spell the dot out. I got a, uh, I got a single coming out. It's going to come out on NFT, though. So we about to, oh. jump, on, we about to jump on that new wave. Word, I haven't word. really, you know what I'm saying, been acting for a minute, but everybody been pushing me to get back in the booth. So I just recorded a slammer. And like I said, we're going to switch it up a little bit, drop an NFT. So please be on the lookout for that. Oh, salute, salute. I mean, if any artists out there, you know what I'm saying, any directors, want to work we getting busy with that camera too on the yeah. film side and um that's pretty much it man just tap in with me bro i'm super humbled to have the legendary j dot motherfucking little in the building word man thank you brother thank you thank you, hey, you, hey, you so, look, brother. before i go I need the props that I deserve. I put the rocks up on the curb. Ooh, uh, My stash is like a pet shop, closet full of birds. Uh -huh. If I let the tech pop, it's bound to hit a nerve. <laughs> I leave you in a wheelchair. I put that on my word. word. Bitch, I spit the bars niggas relate to in Rikers. Uh -huh. Shout out to the lifers. Uh -huh. Riding like a biker. Dang. Guns like the anarchy sons that'll wipe you off uh -huh. the face of the planet with a slug for the sniper. Ooh. Cats are spitting nursery rhymes. Peter Piper. Mm. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peppers that were checking pickled peppers? Peter Piper. Oh. Oh. And if I bite your shit, but Littles ain't a biter. If that's your girl, then I suggest you better hide her. I'm a mm -hmm. gangster and a gentleman, a lover and a fighter. This Cali bug got niggas beefing over lighters. Uh -huh. Prof, I'm Colombian, my Ooh. coke's a little whiter. Uh -huh. My screw's loose, but my flow's a little tighter. I'm a lion, Damn. not a tiger, they be lying out the diapers. These cats are small change, like the meter man. Never let the heater jam. <laughs> Hops come, I flee the land. Holler if you need a gram. I'm just trying to feed the fam. Coming back from Florida with Pip inside the Peter Pan. Damn! Woo! And hey, shout out to J. Dot Littles, man, Yo, for coming through. Littles, man, coming through, man. Yeah, man. Jersey to the fullest. He had a good man. time. We had a good time asking him a bunch of questions. I hope y'all had a good all time right, with right. him asking some questions. The food came out delicious. Man. This shit is impeccable. Listen. Shout out to my sister for the cake. You know what I'm saying? So, um, what talking about. but you know, right now I got some of the yo. It's sometimes I like surfing the net and I see so many fucking funny videos that just deal with jail. And you know what they say jail is, right? What's jail? Jail is just ask our lie. You know, when you be in a motherfucking bullpen, you be running across a bunch of wild niggas telling you a bunch of stories. That's pressing your fucking <laughs> luck, my nigga. Hey, yo, but you ever been in a situation where motherfucking police run down on you and everything you do is suspect to them? Like this nigga right here. Yeah, can't move in the car look, and pull you over. Look at this nigga. <laughs> I got him, got him. <laughs> so, yo, listen, uh, I, oh, this, I done that to people, but I don't fake it. I'm yo, out. <laughs> this nigga is, this nigga is the type of nigga that I would've probably been kicking it with it on, on the streets. Hey, hey. She had a fat ass. <laughs> he said she was thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. That nigga's a fool. Hey. Look at her. Oh, I don't have that with you. Okay, what's your name? Frida. Frida? Yeah. Okay, what's your last name? To go. So, free to go? Yeah. Free to go? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, how the fuck? Man. Yo, shut the fuck up. Yo. 
Not the they ain't was talking Everybody some real doing. shit. Like, you got a choice in the street. You can survive. Uh-huh. But usually there's a paper bag of money that makes you do something that's against that honor code, and that's the thing that gets you jammed up. Compromise. Man, that's the thing yeah, that gets you jammed up, man. You break the honor code. You were doing 90 to 30. Why? Because I'm in the hood. That's a good answer. I just teach you guys. <laughs> you got any good with that? That's a good answer. He's going to leave hard. I'll be right back and grab you. He's like, nigga, that's a good answer. Niggas is wild out here. I'll go give you one. Yo, that's funny as shit, bro. Yo, this nigga had to have snitched. This nigga ratted on somebody, bro. Oh, no. Don't do it, homeboy. Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't. Damn, he did it. He did it. Look at his face. Ain't nothing funny about that. That nigga's a sucker, bro. Yo, son. Right Yo. <laughs> I did this shit. I did that on the second floor. When Me too. I did that on the second floor. Bro, nigga, my heels were swollen, bro. Nah, I like My heels were swollen. I like oh, man. Nigga, I jumped on the Burger Line bus. I ran the Burger Line. I was good. But by the time I got off the bus, my ankles got swollen, bro. I uh, mean, I was in some chick house and the pops was jingling the door. I jumped out there. Wow. I think I, I, think I went ahead first, but I landed on my feet. I can't remember. Oh, look at this nigga. This if nigga killer. A serial killer living next door to you, though, and you know that person is you know, killing people, would you be a snitch if you called police and told them? If I knew the serial killer was living next door to me? Yeah. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call and tell anybody on them, but I probably knew like, <laughs> I'm not going to be around because I don't need to be living around serial killers. So I'm just going to be like, yeah, this shit is a classic interview. Like, Yo, you know, the serial killers are for eight. It's not your responsibility. Exactly. Yeah. Is there any situation that you think it's okay to talk about it? Yeah, oh. definitely. Say hello. How you feel? Everything all right? <laughs> Period. That's it. Is. That's it. That's all you say. That's it. But yo, man, yeah, that's some of the joints I wanted to let you see, bro, because that oh, shit had me dying, bro. Oh, 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 shit like that, you can see how there's two different Americas, man. Like, oh, man. That white dude shit and shit like that, it would have been a you and me or a bus I had right there. Bro, man. you think not? You been laying in that shit. You think nigga. not, man. Hey, yo, but, you know, on a more serious note, man, you know, I want to give a big, 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 big shout out, man. The homie motherfucking Al B. Al, man. Motherfucker's been holding us down for a Free minute, real, man. Free the real. Yeah, man. The gladiator. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Being on that hating side, we always appreciated his music. Jungle State, baby. Gladiator's Word. out here, bro. That's, Word. That's, the, that's the gladiator right there. Word. And shout out to my man Little's HP. Man, and he was doing a lot of records he for him. Down, Yeah, man. man. What up, bro? It's your boy Littles here. You already know I'm here with Jand Up Journal. The boy Hoffa rocking the block, bro. Smash like gang shit. Now we also got another segment that we just pick our favorite females for this week yeah. because you know when you locked up man you could appreciate a picture could go so far for you bro that shit will take you out this world from being inside of here you, know you know what i mean get a letter from a bad chick with some flicks in it you know what i'm saying word yeah so uh, you know yeah, we we, we want to um highlight this fe beautiful female right here bro i'm in love with her bro this is the one and only spicy J. look at this bro she's phenomenal man Go make sure you support her, Spicy J. And send your people some flicks. Look at that ass. Look yeah, at that yeah. butterfly, though. Little butterfly. I love butterflies. I love, I love butterflies. God right damn. Ah, damn. That's how you do it. Burn. Got that red on. Boy, oh boy, man. Shit, yeah. I don't know about you, but I got a little hungry again. You know? <laughs> I'm hungry again, you know what I mean? Word. Well, make sure y'all, you know, y'all take some pictures and send them to your peoples that's locked up, man. And if any of you females want to, you know, join, just make sure you DM us uh, jammed up journals and, you know, send a nigga some flicks. Send a nigga some flicks, you know, we, do, you know, send a we promote y'all, you know what I'm saying? So, yo, Rock, man, um, anything you want to let the people uh, know before we get out of here, brother? I don't know, but the guard left the door open and I'm about to slide out this one. You know, oh, bro, nigga, if you out, nigga, get all the way out, nigga. I'm get caught up in the mess. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Not a swim? Nah, fuck that. I'm about to stay <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, well as as the show's done, man, we want to thank y'all for taking this journey with us. You know we are 
We just gonna keep on inspiring y'all, motivating y'all. Yeah, trying you know, to help you, you know what I'm saying? Let's not, better. let's not go through a revolving door, you know trying what I'm saying? Trying to turn the bad into good. Word. Good and, into great. And, and you know that we ain't meant to survive because it's a setup, but even though you're fed up, you gotta keep, you gotta your, keep head your head up. up. Peace. Peace. Ooh, child, things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child, things will get brighter. Jando Journals. Brrr.